we're out winterizing everything because we're supposed to get a freeze tomorrow night and so we don't want to wait to the last minute of course but something that we noticed when we came back here to um, put some mulch down I don't know if you saw the video or not I will put a link to it in the description below but we uh, chopped down our elderberry well you know not chop it down but we cut it back and I mentioned at that time that you could just put the sticks in the ground and they would grow. We have 100% <laughs> growth coming up already on each one. Some it's larger, some it's small, just getting started. But every single one of them have growth on them. So know this. <laughs> It does work. You can do it. We have done it before and then we did it this time, but I'm wanting to show you so that you know for sure it really does work. We're trying the same thing on the Moringa because we were told that we could do the same thing with the Moringa. As long as we had a really good, uh, a thick stalk and the one that we got, it's probably two thumbs thick. And so we've already planted it and hoping, and we put it in a pot though, so that we can take it in for the winter. That may have some change up, I don't know, but um, I know it wouldn't make it in the freeze, so. But there you go, our elderberries taking off. So the freeze was coming in, we had to go out and we had to harvest our loofahs and um, they were not ready. I had about four that were like this. Uh, this one's not quite ready. I had about three that were ready. I mean, you could hear the, in fact, let me grab one. That's ready. That's not. <laughs> but um, no fret. Um, when they get really soft, these are not there yet. They're starting to. I mean, you can feel the give, giving way, but you want to let them get a lot softer. Oh, this one's almost there. Let me see if you can see this. See how I can bend that in? This one's almost ready. And um, now the thing about this is I am going to be able to save my loofahs. This is one that I, I did. I've been letting it dry to get the seeds out, but you can see the seeds. They're white. The seeds you want are dark. Now these are dark. This is one that wasn't quite ready, but you can see the seeds are dark. These seeds may be good. So, um, I have saved my loofahs in the sense that I will have loofahs for next year. I have three or four that I'll be able to get seeds from so that I'll have seeds for next year. What that'll mean is, woo! What that'll mean is I uh, don't have as many as I had last year or the year before, so I won't be able to give away as many as I, I did before. So, um, hopefully all those of you that I gave seeds to are growing and uh, you were able to get some seeds for yourself and you'll be able to pass them on to others also But um, but all is not lost. I will be able to save my loofahs So if this happened to you, and this is why I'm doing the video if this happened to you and you're thinking Oh, no, my loofahs or I'm gonna lose all my loofahs uh, No, don't don't fret bring them in you can see that I, this is a, a, a mesh here so I've got them on there so they can get air circulation. I've got some on the bottom. Now these on the bottom were really green. And, um, and they're the really big ones that I was counting on. But you can see that they're starting to lighten up. So um, hopefully I'll be able to save those also. But this will give me a good harvest. I will have, of course I still have loofahs from last year. So it's not like I'm going to be loofah short. But um, this will give me some really good loofahs. And I'll show you um, how easy it was to uh, peel this as opposed to how hard it is to peel them when they're like this. And they say that the ones that are, you see how I'm mushing that? It's kind of soft. And they say that these should be relatively easy to peel. And 
they are a whole lot easier than when they're dried. The thing is, is the board inside here is still a little wet and mushy. And I can get this under the sink and I can rinse it out. And you can see that this is a really good loofah. A really good loofah. But the problem you tear off the top. Yeah, and you put it in there. You take the seeds out. Shake it, shake it, shake it. You get all the seeds out. Now, you get a lot of seeds out of these. I have a jar full of seeds from last year. I've given quite a bit away. I've reused them, and I still have a big jar. You can sit down, sweetheart. Once you get your seeds out, you want to start tearing off the skin. It'll come off relatively easy. And I'm not going to sit and do it, but you see how easy it is for it to come off. And once you get it off, you have your loofah. And now the loofah is a plant. It's a living thing, just like we are. And just like we have imperfections, so will the loofah. Um, this one is pretty good. It doesn't have a lot of imperfections. but. Another thing is that it gives you a really pretty loofah. When uh, they're brown like this, uh, they can be discolored. Um, they're a little darker. The one thing coming out of this is they're very white and there's no discoloration and they're just really pretty loofahs. So there's uh, bonuses to having to bring them in like this and then there's fallbacks. And the really the only fallback that I can see is that the seeds. The seeds are the issue. I will have plenty to be able to grow again next year and I will have a few to give away but not like I did the year before because last year and the year before I had hundreds and hundreds of seeds because you get, I mean this whole thing all the way around is full of seeds so in one seed you're getting, I mean in one loofah you're getting like 50 plus seeds so um, you get quite a bit of seeds. What I am going to do though is I am going to save some of these that are the more mature seeds. They're still this color and I am going to plant and just see what they do. I'm not going to waste seeds. I am not one to just throw away seeds. And if it comes down to the fact that no, they really won't work. They really won't go any loofahs. I'll feed them to my chickens. So no loss. That's They'll love them. So Thank you for joining me. Um, so if you had to go through this and uh, thought that you had lost your loofahs, you have not. Just be sure you have them on a place where they're getting air circulation all the way around. Now I have mine by my uh, sunroom windows so that they're also getting the sunlight coming in and all that will help them and I'll be able to harvest my loofahs and I will still have loofahs. And I'm still getting seeds out. That's the one thing about this. When uh, the seeds are harder to get out also. And I did take a, a chopstick. Uh, one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. Took a chopstick. I put it in and uh, kind of roughed it up. And I got out a lot of them. But I'm finding that if you just let it dry. They'll just. They'll be able to just shake out. Just squeeze it and shake out. So. That's what I'm letting them do. This one, I'm just letting this one dry and I'm just going to shake them out and hopefully they'll dislodge. If not, I can get the tooth uh, chopstick and go up under there and dislodge them and get them out. And uh, so there you have it. Save my loofahs. You can save yours too. So if you, if it, you came to freeze before they were ready, because we did have a shorter growing season this year. If they, um, if you've got to freeze before they were ready, don't fret. Hope you brought them in because they're not lost. Thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.